We always wonder what could be the future. How can humankind preserve knowledge in an era of multi-planetary species? What is the data storage that will last for millions, billions of years? From cave painting to the creation of language, the Rosetta Stone to the digital era and the internet era. A few decades ago, when humans discovered the possibility of genetic engineering, it changed the way we look at life and the way to store data that will last for millions of years. The concept of post-digital data storage is to use the molecular storage of genetic material to represent states of data similar to the use of binary in our digital data storage. The study involved developing the algorithms and techniques to prevent data from genetic mutation and molecular level damage. However, um, as of 2020, the idea of storing musical notations into DNA has not been conducted yet. That is the reason why this study has been found. MESI is the molecular encoded storage for space explorations. It is an anti-disciplinary space mission that demonstrates the future of biodigital information system for the interplanetary communications. Synthetic biology and digital innovation coming together in the context of space exploration. We are using one of the fundamental properties of biology, self-assembly, a process that allows biomolecules to come organically together in a very precise way. This process fosters our DNA to come together and become a data storage device. To be precise, we are using Gibson assembly to tighten DNA together. You may think of it as using DNA to build a Lego house. We received tremendous support from Dr. Park Hoom and his colleagues at Narayaswan University, as well as Dr. Boy from Mahidon University making this futuristic idea come to light. What we do, you know, is to always go beyond the obvious and think about the exciting possibility that might elevate humanity in the future. Once we learn to engineer at the complexity of biology and compute at a molecular scale, we are now unlocking the most sophisticated form of engineering ever known to humankind. We found that the song Kwam Fan Kap Chakawan by Thai artist Body Salam has questioned the creators of life. We applied this song to the algorithm we developed that contained the process of converting musical notations into nucleotides of DNA. We also make sure that few damages to DNA wouldn't ruin the data encrypted in it by also having an error correction technique called Reed Solomon algorithm that allows the possibilities of us to extract data even few nucleotides is mutated. This project symbiotically represents the enthusiasm, dreams and ambitions and the possibilities of preserving the knowledge of our civilization. We also designed the art covers of the pillow. You can see the Victorian man with the twist of an Asian culture in it. A direct reference to Leonardo da Vinci. The Renaissance man 
and the true embodiment of art and science. Looking up for the cosmos, feet are still on the ground, with hands expanding, praying and pushing the boundary. It is the symbol for our hope to be a space explorer in the developing country where breakthrough always come with struggling. I believe the payload itself can be considered as one of the most iconic parts of the mission. With the many efforts in modeling and engineering calculation of the payload, we developed the unibody frame that all the experiment can be fit inside. This payload design is unique, iconic, and has the story of its own. And with the support from your Space Corp and Freak Lab, this mission will demonstrate how art, design, and engineering become one. We send them as pre-assembled pieces as well as a completed strand and see if spaceflight has any effect to our DNA at all, but more importantly, to the data we encoded in them. Secondly, we also want to understand the method for disguising our DNA on unsuspecting objects, using unconventional means of secretly hiding them. You can call this a DNA heist, if you may. This is to help us understand and develop strategies to counter bioterrorism on an interplanetary scale and prevent them from using DNA from viruses or harmful bacteria in space cargo, which can have a tremendous impact on our spacefaring society. This project is the collaboration between SpaceTH.co, FreakLab, New Space Corp, and MIT Media Lab. Since early this year, we have a collaboration with more than 10 organizations across the country and even across the globe. We all have a same goal of making space become more accessible and making art and science become one. That is the meaning of what we are trying to make it as an anti-disciplinary project.